It is August here in the Northeast, and that means that we are growing tomatoes as well as tomato diseases in great abundance. And so today I'm very excited to share with you um, some of the perils of growing tomatoes and some of the key diseases that you might find and how to identify them. So the first one that I'll share, so I'm, I'm going to share Yes, blossom end rot, late blight, early blight, and septoria leaf spot. So without further ado, let's talk about blossom end rot, which in fact is not a disease, it's a nutrient deficiency. Specifically, it's a calcium deficiency, which is more accurately a water deficiency. Think of calcium as this great big ion that's more like a freighter or a barge, as opposed to a tiny little ion that's a kayak or a canoe. And so it needs a lot of water to transport it from one part of the soil into the plant around the plant and so if the tomato is calcium deficient it starts here in the fruit at the blossom end tip and once you see that just remove all of this fruit cut your losses they'll never recover but it generally affects the earliest set of fruit on a tomato and also the paste roma types more than any other type of tomato um, and it's totally preventable you can just simply water more um, and fish emulsion is always a good idea as well and that will give you cal calcium as well as lots of other macro and micronutrients but it's even ample deep watering that will fully turn your tomato plants around for blossom end rot friends and so blossom end rot number two and just in number th all the rest of the diseases i'll share today um, late blight early blight septoria leaf spot they have some similarities and some differences but just like calcium uh, the calcium deficiency is blossom end rot take a look at this tomato leaf it's just kind of yellow and yes there's some browning but there's not really black and brown spots within the yellowing this is just simple simply a hungry tomato lacking nitrogen um, this yellow leaf um, is clearly just indicating i'm hungry but take a look at this slightly yellowing leaf on this tomato this is um, more like uh, early blight, which will look a lot like septoria leaf spot, but here's the biggest differences. So early blight, take a look. It is these brown, brown lesions. Sometimes they're closer to black um, that are often ringed with yellow, but on the inside of them, they have these almost little topography maps, these little topo maps of concentric rings. Um, and that is the key diagnostic for early blight. And once you have early blight, the nice, the good news is it's one of the more manageable diseases on tomatoes and you want to just strip all of those leaves anything that you see that has early blight and you'll only you'll only see it on the lowermost leaves you'll strip all of those leaves that have them put them those leaves straight into a bag and close that bag up and ship it off as far as you possibly can <laughs> and I just be sure to close that bag really tightly um, and it's very contagious but you if you can strip all of those leaves as soon as you notice it you'll easily have another three four weeks of production from your tomato if you don't strip the leaves and you don't catch it until it's very progressed you might only have one or two weeks left um, but it's easy to scout for and easy to manage um, and septoria leaf spot is very similar basically it has similar brown spots that can be darker gray um, in the center, but they're truly more like a spot. Here is a classic septoria leaf. Um, so it's much multiple spots per leaf, darker centers. Um, if as it progresses, they'll have some more yellowing around, um, but you won't see those concentric rings that you will in early blight. Um, and you treat septoria is exactly the same as early blight where it'll happen first on those lowermost leaves you'll want to strip all those leaves and put them in a plastic bag send them away um, and you'll have another three four weeks of production i don't actually have late blight on the farm right now thank goodness so i can't show you a leaf of um, late blight but it looks would look very similar to this except it would be black much darker there wouldn't be any concentric rings and 
it happens overnight that it you see it and it's on the leaves it's on the fruit it's on the stems it just kind of takes over the whole plant really quickly within a week your tomato can be an unrecognizable oozy mess and so it's by far the most pernicious of the three and yes so you definitely don't want late blight, um, but you definitely don't want any of them. But if you do want to wish for any tomato diseases, wish for the early blight, wish for the septoria. And in any case, you just want to be very, very vigilant and taking a look very closely at all your tomato plants, seeing like what truly is a nutrient deficiency, what truly is a disease. Um, feel free to reach out and send us photographs and know that there are lots of resources online. Cornell has an extraordinary, their Cornell MD um, website has tons of great diagnostic photos that you can use to take a look and diagnose your diseases slash deficiencies as well. So best of luck, happy August, enjoy harvesting your tomatoes, and I hope that disease doesn't keep you from harvesting all the abundance that you've worked so hard for.